Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. I tweeted out, did you guys want to see the manual method or the one-click method for rooting the Nexus 7? You guys, a lot of you said both. Most of you said manual, so I did that version first. I'll have that posted to YouTube first. But for the rest of you, here is the one-click method. I will run over this real quick. We're just using Wugfresh's toolkit. Uh, so I'll have a link to that in the description. You'll download that. It's pretty much automated, but we will go through the guide. The first thing you want to do here is go to settings and developer options. You'll turn that on and then make sure USB debugging is selected. Then you're going to plug in your device to your PC. So just go ahead and plug that in. Okay, once that's all plugged in, you'll set it down to the side. Now we'll go to our PC. And we'll open up the Nexus Root Toolkit. Um, on the first installation, it's going to ask you what model type. You can change that here. It works for all the Nexus devices. So if you have a Galaxy Nexus, a Nexus S, uh, any of the Google Nexus phones are supported with this. Plus, any Nexus tablets that come out will be supported by this as well. So the first thing you want to do here is click the Unlock button. This is going to unlock your bootloader. It tells you that it will completely wipe everything, so make sure you back up everything if you've taken any pictures or whatever any of your apps your data everything's going to be completely wiped so we'll go ahead and continue and it's doing everything all by itself this is device connected it's going to reboot the device into bootloader mode which it has done there checking fast boot status device connected and now it's going to unlock the bootloader okay so this pops up same as whenever we did it manually, we're going to have to select yes, which voids the warranty. We'll press the power button to select. So now it is unlocking, as you can see there. It says unlocking now, so that's exactly what it's doing. Okay, it says you should now see a screen on your device title unlock bootloader. We've selected yes. So now it's rebooting the device, and we are unlocked. So that was nice and easy. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is we'll wait on this to finish up, and then we'll do our uh, root. It says, wait for your device to finish booting up. It may take a while or appear to be boot looping. Just wait. Once you're booted back up, go through initial setup or skip through it and enable USB debugging on your device, and you're ready to proceed with the rooting procedure. So press OK to finish this script. So we'll give it a second to boot back up. I will uh, turn on USB debugging and then we'll complete this root guide. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just going to go into settings real quick and be sure that USB debugging is turned on. So developer options, turn it on. And go ahead and select USB debugging. So we'll set this down and we'll proceed with the root procedure in the toolkit. Now, if you guys have never done root manually, you should do that, so check out my manual root guide. But this is by far the easiest method of doing it, thanks to Wugfresh for that. Uh, this script is designed to help you root your device. Rooting your device will give you full administrative access to Android OS. If you need to flash something like Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, you'll be able to boot into Clockwork without a computer. When you press OK, a modified boot image will be utilized to enable running privileges, super user ABK, uh, busy box, you need to be unlocked, so we've already done that. Select OK. So now it's rebooting into bootloader, which we're already familiar with. It's going to push the super user application. Okay, fast boot device was not found. Uh, we are using our OEM USB cable. Hmm. So, okay, we'll just select OK and we'll try again. Device is connected this time. Booting modify boot image to enable running privileges command, which it's doing there, as you can see. Waiting for your device to finish booting back up, which is what it's doing here. It's probably going to boot back into, um, I imagine it's going to boot back into fast boot. Or it may already be rooted, I'm not sure. So we're all booted back up. Remounting your device with root permissions. Pushing SU binary. 
pushing super user APK. Setting file permissions. Installing BusyBox installer. Okay, to finish the process and check to make sure you are successfully rooted, open super user SU and will prompt you to update the binaries. Since it pulls the binaries from the internet, make sure you have stable connection first. Open the BusyBox installer and press install to properly configure all the essential BusyBox applets. Grant app super user permission and let it install. That's it. Enjoy your rooted device. Uh, so we'll go ahead. It says, remember now is a great time to make a full clean backup with Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you're unfamiliar with making Clockwork Mod Recovery backups, utilize the walkthrough in the backup utilities interface. So we'll go ahead and unplug our device. And we'll get nice and focused. So we're not going to do this now. We will install later. So we're going to SU which is there and continue to update the binaries installation successful back to our uh, busybox installer and we'll allow permission as soon as it loads up okay so here we are we can grant super user permission we are now rooted and that was super easy so we'll install that Guys, that has been the one-click root guide. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click the like button. It helps me out more than you know. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Google Nexus 7 tablet and other Android devices. Be sure to check me out at Android. I'm sorry. Be sure to check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in Android and technology news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.